as you can see it's 4.21 in the morning. I'm pretty damn sure I should be asleep. Here we go again. Let me just sit down. Oh, dear me. <sighs> The leg, the legs. I knew I was going to be in for a bad night um, because I wasn't even asleep when my legs started spasming. I was still downstairs about, it was about 11 o'clock and okay, I started to feel a bit sleepy. And that's when it happens. Only ever when I start to feel a bit sleepy. And I might nod for about 10 seconds and come back. And then I feel my leg charging up. A little bit like a sneeze coming on. You feel it. You feel the sneeze coming on and then suddenly you sneeze. My leg, I can feel this horrible sensation charges up and then it jumps and then 15 seconds roughly later charges up again and it jumps and yes this happens three to four times a minute if i do not get up and start using the muscle in my leg it's the thigh muscle It is driving me crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, oh, and by the way, this isn't the first time. I've already been up about two o'clock um, because my dear wife, Teresa, was also up at that time because she's got a problem in her neck um, causing her significant pain down her right arm. And it's, of course, everything's worse at bedtime, isn't it? So, yeah, this is the second time I've been up. Um, I have to stay up for at least an hour for my leg to calm down. And then I'll go back to bed and try again. And this is just... It's just a repeating thing on a regular basis. Um, I think human beings are meant to be able to get sleep, otherwise they can't function. I honestly don't know how I function in the day. I don't. Um, while I think about it, thank you much everybody for your response on my last video. I've almost finished reading all the comments. I have, haven't read them all, but um, I'm getting through them, thank you. And I do apologize if I've not answered you. I'll try. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with myself. I'm probably going to uh, sit here at my PC for an hour and probably play some of the online game I play called RuneScape. And uh, yeah, then probably about half past five, I'll go back to bed again and see if I can get some more sleep. It's It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'd like to thank everybody that's in my last video that's given me um, suggestions um, about, you know, um, possible remedies and medications that can, um, excuse me, um, that can calm my leg down. Muscle relaxants, such as baclofen. Right, the problem there, for me, 
for those of you the for those of you that don't know i can't take drugs like that and that's because it's a muscle relaxer and my muscles don't function very well anyway because I've got lesions on my spinal cord so my muscles aren't um, receiving the signals from my brain via my spinal cord uh, to function properly. They are being disrupted, um, misfiring uh, for want of a better word. So if I take baclofen, the only thing that happens is I I just become a wobbly, wobbly mess, worse than I already am. I, I'm already, I've, I've started counting significant, almost falls during the day. And I'm, I'm at three or four, and I'm talking really serious events where I nearly go. And if it isn't, if it isn't for my speed, that my upper body speed and strength that I still have, fortunately, I, I would be on the floor. And over this last few months, I have had quite a few falls, actually, bad ones. And I usually fall on my right hip, or my left hip, actually, I don't know. But I, I don't know how I don't break something i honestly don't but yeah getting back to um the suggestions of you know muscle relaxants it's it's very difficult for me to take them it's a double-edged sword um they they do work but i'm then my mobility goes to almost zero almost zero it's so difficult hmm it's i don't know it's just hard well i i do appreciate everybody that takes the time to write out a message for me to read and, and Teresa reads them as well and I thank you for that and please continue to comment because sometimes you know it keeps us going sharing sharing your problem knowing that there is someone else suffering in the same or in a similar way that you do or you may perhaps going through something pretty bad I know for a fact a lot of you are. Okay, I'm going now. This video is completely uncut and unedited. So I apologize for any mistakes. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm going now. Thank you. Thank you for listening if you got this far. And um, I shall hopefully see you again soon. Until next time. Bye-bye. It's now 4.30 exactly.